Okay, we're going to show what we use all the ingredients for our dish. Garlic powder, olive oil or extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper, Asiago cheese. This Asiago is really old. I hope it's still good. It was something special. It was on special. Such a good special. Doesn't doesn't belong. Get sun dried tomatoes. Cut julienne. I don't know what that means. Penne. Primo penne only. <laughs> and and baby spinach. I bought attitude baby spinach. Have the right attitude. So we will need uh, a pot. Why? Um, to cook the primo penne. Another pot. To cook more primo penne because we're going to make a lot. So we have lunches for the week. <laughs> and if you want some. Right in. Right in. <laughs> we'll mail you a bag. <laughs> Imagine by the time it got there. Okay. And a wok. So that we can mix all the ingredients together. We might have to do it in sections because there's just going to be so much. And a teapot. That's just there. <laughs> it's just cook and serve because it's so nice looking. It is. Cook and serve. Microwave and oven safe. And we can like... Oh, 14, really? 14 99 Oh. If you were looking through this kitchen to find the cheese grater, where would you look? I have no idea where it is, so I'm going to look. You have to find it in 15 seconds or I'm grating the cheese. One, no. two, three... <laughs> Did you just rip off this cover? Did you just rip off this cover? <laughs> she told me I had to grate the whole thing, so I took off all the rind, and there was a bit of mold on the cheese. But oh, we don't. Just cut around it and use the rest. I'm putting a little bit of olive oil in the water Why? because some television show told me that if you, I think it was that '70s show actually that if you put Oh, God, something is smoking under this pot. Oh, I think that'll be okay. Hmm? That's fine. There was eggs in the cheese. It's not eggs. It's not eggs. It's just... Some white balls of something inside the cheese. So, she's going to get some fresh cheese. Because we don't want to risk our lives with this cheese. So while she's gone to the store to get some new Asiago cheese, we are going to play a game. I looked how many pieces of penne are in this bag. Guess. I'll give you three seconds. Time is up. 376. I'm going to add a random thing to the pot while she's gone. Some salt. Now she's going to resalt it and it's going to be really salty. Uh, penne, if you didn't know, is the plural form of the Italian word penna. So one piece of penne is penna, P E N N A. So you can eat a penna at a time, or if you fork a bunch, you're eating penne. And it comes from the, the, the term for feather, or like quill, or like, like you know, back in those old things that they used to write with. Penna. There's also like different forms, but there's panana and there's panoni. But yes, the most common is penne, and that is what we are cooking. Penne rigate. So now it is the water has boiled. Probably a while ago. And she's going to put the penne in the water. Max amount I can in each. Second try. Uh, How's this one feel from the other one? Better. It's Softer? Easier. Let's taste it. Mmm. It's good. Oh, calm the f down. You're swearing on cooking with us. I said calm the f down. I like my penne. Oh, al dente. Penne rigatti. That's what we're cooking. And we're cooking it al dente. What does al dente mean? I don't know. Firmer? Mm-hmm. Do you know what rigatti means? 
I do. <laughs> what does it mean? Penne lisce is smooth penne, which means there are no ridges on the outside. And penne rigati means there's ridges all around the outside. What kind is this? Penne rigati. It is. Oh. You can use either kind for this. We all knew this because I looked it up on Google while you were at the store. Why did you say something? You should have pretended you knew it from your culinary skills. Show the history. Oh. Um, it is native to Central Asia, and the flower, it's a flowering plant. And the flowers oh. on spinach plants are yellow-green, and spinach can grow up to 30 centimeters in height and survive in winter in temperate conditions. If you want to know more about spinach, Google spinach. <laughs> These blades need to be sort of askew. askew. There we go. That's better. Some spinach. Be careful. Still boiling. Yes, be careful. Don't cut yourself on the spinach. I How mean, on the blades. How much? <laughs> <laughs> Dumb. I think I can turn this off don't soon. That's enough spinach. Um, that's, that's oh, I'm not, I want to put more. We don't. We Trust me. Oh, my God. Don't put more in. Pull it? Pull it hard. Oh. And now take the lid off. Ah! Oh. She's going to drain the penne rigati because you can't have watery penne. Yep. <laughs> Nobody wants a watery penne. Penna. Penna? No. Penna. That's not what, that's not it. Can I put it on there? I don't know. It's hot. Where are you going to put the teapot? In the ledge. So now I always, I always add some. Extra virgin olive oil. Does it have to be extra virgin? Um, no, what it does that mean? Regular. I think it's more well behaved. Um, okay. You can start. Do you want to start? Oh, I don't know. I, want to, I don't know. Do is that what we do? Yes. Just mix it around so it gets all oily. I don't use a cream sauce or a tomato sauce or anything. I just use oils. And then the sun dried tomato. Always get the sun dried tomato that has the oil in it because when you mix it in, that's part of the oily sauce. Mm. Yeah. Let me add some salt. Salt. Garlic. Yes. <laughs> garlic powder because I'm too lazy to crush some, crush some garlic. Gar oh, I also don't have a garlic crusher. Now I add some of the spinach. This is well chopped. Should we have said how much time has passed? No, who cares? What do you estimate? 7.18. You got here at... You got here an hour ago. Yeah. And, and I had to run to the uh, store. Yeah. So, this is a very fast meal. It is. It's delicious. So I've thrown in some spinach. I haven't decided if I need more yet. But it just makes it look nice, too. Mmm. A dash. Actually, that's more than a dash. Here it is. Bloomp. <laughs> a sploomp. <laughs> a sploomp of spinach? Yeah. I added a couple sploomps this time. Oh, so good. There, like a couple blobs of it. So I've been doing this in this walk, <laughs> and the burner's on. It's just in the Well, you've mixed everything, and then you'll oh heat it again. God. So now, when you when you actually do this, though, you you put the burner on. Turn the on. burner on. Oh, oh God, that's so awful. Well, it hasn't cooled enough, I don't think, to. So now we've stirred it and got to heat it up again. We have to add the asiago. We're going to add it a bit at a time so that does not congeal in one gluttonous glob. Don't measure because it's a waste of time. No, and it's not as fun. No. I think more. Yeah. More. So I like to put it in and mix it so it gets all melted and mm. gooey and then add more. So the huge amount of 376 oh. pieces of penne are in there. Oh my god. That isn't even all of it though. There's probably like 65 pieces of Oh no! Table and I'll wash, or would you like me to set the table and you wash? I don't care. I'll set the table. Oh. Is that the table? That's the table. That's it. I always wash before I eat because then you can eat and know that the dishes are done. Oh, it's so much more enjoyable. Oh, okay. I will set the table. I don't. Uh, this is actually heavy. This is actually really heavy. 
This is actually happening. Dinner. So what is the dish called? It is called penne with Asiago sun-dried tomato and spinach. <laughs> Some extra Asiago and just a sprinkle on. Not that it needs it. It's quite gooey. There. One more. <laughs> The first bite? Yes. Mmm. One piece of everything in it. Mmm. Is it delish? Mm hmm. Mm. So, in one word? Oh, God. Um. That'll do. Delish. <laughs> yes. I hate the wish.